So let's get rid of these uh, and find these packages again. So I want Polkit to install that one. So it was, yeah, you see it was, um, oh, it's runtime dependencies actually. So it looks like I might not need to reinstall it, come to think of it. Plasma for KDE. Yeah, so it's all like the major desktop environments. So I would say I probably don't need to reinstall it actually. So I'm not going to bother with that one. I'll just mark it off as if it's been done. I'll put a little note next to it saying why it wasn't done. Let's put this only on time requirement. So that saves a bit of time. I'll go back and go on to Misa. Just check why we're doing this. Wayland protocol required for plasma. Oh, actually, no, this doesn't look like it needs to be done either. I imagine I've got so bogged down with the dependencies, it sort of my eyes have glazed over and not read exactly what needs to be done. Recommended. Yep, I'm not going to bother installing that one either. So I'll just put a little note saying not needed again. And get rid of that one. So I'll just go back to Falcon now, see. what requirements that has. Right, optional requirements of KDE framework. So now that this is installed, Falcon should see this and make use of it. So let's start by extracting Falcon. How long does this? Oh no, it doesn't take that long actually. It's only two SBUs, so it shouldn't be particularly long. So I'm going to run the test, so I don't need to put that testing off. So I'll just build and We'll configure and build it as it is here.
okay that's built so I'm going to run the tests now short and sweet all passed so just going to make install And that should be, I'm not sure if I notice the difference whether the rendering of the tabs or anything will be different, but I'm going to quit it now. And restart it and see if there's any noticeable difference. Yeah, the, I think the tab, no, it looks, looks pretty much the same actually. So whether there is any functional difference or not, I don't know. I imagine there must be if uh, one of the optional requirements was KDE frameworks maybe it behaves a bit more like as if it was a KDE um, application so that is my rebuild list completed after all this time uh, several weeks uh, there was as I say 90 exactly 90 packages that are rebuilt some are rebuilt more than once so rebuilt them you know three times or more or twice most of them um, so there was yeah quite a few quite a bit of extra work needed but as I say you, you come to this situation where you get either direct circular dependencies or more often not indirect circular dependencies and when you want full functionality you have to resolve them somehow and that's why it's required that these packages are rebuilt 